So how do you stop chasing? Well, you, you have to build value into yourself. You have to know why you are valuable. You have to respect yourself. You don't have to love yourself yet because it's not something that you could always do. It's not something you could do in a day and say, I'm going to love myself. Or people say, self-love, love yourself. But they don't really understand that because they don't love themselves. When you love yourself, you're not going to chase. You're going to respect your time. You're going to value your uh, the energy. Uh, you, you're just not going to really go out there and try to prove to people um, what you can do. You're just going to do it for yourself. That you're going to believe in yourself and that you're going to do things because you enjoy it. You're going to wear the clothes you want because you like the clothes. You're going to go to college because you want to go to college. Or you're not going to go to school because you don't want to go to school. That you're going to make your own decisions. And that you're going to be comfortable with, the, with those decisions. You're not going to wait for somebody to validate you or to seek their approval or get their permission. And when people talk bad about you, that you're not going to go out there and try to prove yourself. Or if they say you can't do something, you're not going to go out there and do something and say, well, I could do it. I'm going to prove to you I could do it. When you value yourself and you respect yourself and you love yourself, that you'll be comfortable being alone if you have to. If you have to be alone, that you could do it. It's not like you're waiting for something else and being passive. It's that you have your eyes open, you're self-aware. You're self-aware that if somebody comes along that's the right fit for you and everything is, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if it's right for you, then, then you'll pursue it. But you're not out there actively looking. You're not walking around in the mall. You're not going to clubs or to libraries and you're looking around for somebody and saying like, I need to, I need to get in a relationship. I can't be alone. That you're willing to live your life, have fun with your life, enjoy things, but you're not going to wait for someone else. And you're not going to get into one-sided relationships, whether they're friendships or whether they're relationships, that you're not going to be like given everything you got because you need to get them when they're not really giving you much. And even if they don't like say your name, I think that's important. They could be friends with someone and then say if you, if they don't even say your name, so like either they're afraid or they just don't want to say your name, you know, there's just a lot of like reasons, but you know what? We're not going to overthink. We're not going to self doubt. We're not going to make excuses. We're going to take personal responsibility. We're going to be humble. There's so much with personal growth is like when you really value yourself and respect yourself and love yourself that. You're going to always work on yourself. You're going to keep growing, but you're going to know that you always need improvement and that you're going to be confident in yourself and that you're going to have good self-esteem. You're not going to refer to back to the past all the time. You're not going to go back to the past and say like, well, these things didn't happen. You don't understand my life and, and you, don't, you don't get who I am and you don't know why I'm acting the way I am. Like Meaning that it's not that you're going to let it go. I mean, the scars are going to always be there, but you're, you're going to be able to heal from it, learn from it, learn from it. Just ask yourself, did you learn? And then the last question would be, would you do it again? And I would ask, how would you approach it differently next time? So just really focus on yourself. It's not selfish focusing on yourself. That you matter because when you grow, then you could grow the people around you. You're not gonna just grow and be selfish. You're gonna grow everybody else around you and improve people while you're improving yourself. So you're not gonna wait to improve yourself. You're gonna actively, you're gonna proactively improve yourself. And then you're gonna grow the people around you and remember, value yourself, respect yourself, love yourself.